hello friends good morning good afternoon good evening so this is about the engineering fee structure right which is for 22 20 23 batch right and uh, this is provided by ke ke yesterday but uh, this is com covering the complete uh, you know fee structure for different types of college and different categories of uh, you know students right so if you see on the left side i am covering uh, engineering in the architecture part so the first row if you see is the uh, type of college right so, so type of college could be you know a government aided and then unaided uh, which is a private college so within unaided private colleges there are type 1 and type 2 and the last one is the deemed private deemed or slash private university so these are the fee structure for different college types and then there are different categories types so if you can see from the left side there is a common fee structure for gm 2a 2b 3a 3b mm -hmm. and including scst whose income is about 10 lakhs and including category 1 including uh, whose income is more than 2.5 lakhs so this is completely bund bundled as a one category and it is in the column number 3 if you can see here the next one is the fees for the SNQ quota, supernumerary uh, quota, which is the lesser fee for based on the income. And so that is the column number four. And the column number five and six are related with SCST fees. And uh, there the category is income up to 2.5 lakhs. And then the second is in income up to 10 lakhs. And anyway, income above 10 lakhs is covered in the column three itself. And the last one is the category one students, which is below 2.5 lakhs. So these are the different college types and uh, category types. So if you see from the first college type, which is the government college. So for general students or 2A, 2B, 3A, 3B students, fees is 38,000 in any government college in Karnataka. So almost 14 government colleges are already there in Karnataka. And SNQ fees for same government college will be 21,000. So SNQ fees will be less than your GM. Next is about the SCST students. So if you see uh, for SCST students, the fees will be, you know, if income is less than 2.5 lakhs, it will be just 500 rupees fees. If income is about 2.5 lakhs, but 2.5 lakhs to 10 lakhs, fees will become 21,700, right? And then for the category student, one student, students also, the fees is same, 21,700. So 21,700 for both SCST and category one students and 21,700 also for SNQ, only GM 2A, 2B, 3A category in the government college will be 38,000. So I'll cover the first college, which is a government college. Then there are eight colleges which fall under the category of aided courses and in, in, in aided college. So those are also the private college, but those private college get a grant from the government. That's the reason fees of this aided seats or aided courses are low. So the, for the aided course, if you get in a, in a particular college, the fees will be 38,200 and the same fees for SNQ will be 21,700. For SCST, it will be same 500 and 21,700, depending on income is less than 2.5 or more than 2.5. And then category one will be 21,000. So these two government and the aided has the similar treatment and it is common fees. Now the most uh, you know popular one which is the unaided private uh, or it is called a private college so unaided or private colleges you know there are two type type one and type two there is uh, some classification by government based on their establishments and there is a difference in fees so if you see if your institution is type one institution private college type one 91000 but the private college nine uh, type two will be 98000 so there is a approximately 7000 difference between type one private college and type two but they have not cl clearly classified what is the difference between uh, them and which institute quali qualify for them but at the time of payment of the fees it will show in front of the college allotted your is a type 1 or type 2 depending on you that you will have to pay 91,000 per year or 98,000 per year so difference in the fees and this is applicable for GM 2A 2B category right which is there in the third column and then you see SNQ seat fees remain same irrespective of it is type 1 or type 2 similarly SCST fees remain same depending on it is a type 1 or type 2 it doesn't changes only for uh, you know income up to 10 lakhs 21,700 which was there in the government or the aided it became 31,110 
but for the category one category one fees have become much higher in the private college so in the private college if you see type one is 75 and type two is 82 so they are lesser than gm and 2a 2b 3a 3b category but still category one fees below 2.5 lakhs is even higher in type one and type two institutes and the last institute category is called the deemed or the private universities so you see the last row right deemed or private universities like uh, your reva university or presidency and so on so there you have gm 2a 2b uh, the fees applicable is 91 796 and the snq there is no uh, applicability uh, uh, fees category there is no snq in deemed university and then for SCST, it will be 500 under 2.5 lakhs. And for uh, up to 2.10 lakhs, it will be 31,000. And for the last, uh, which is category one student, it will be 75,000, even in the deemed university. So these are the five type of college, government, aided, unaided type one, unaided type two, and the deemed or private one. And then five uh, category types also, which I have mentioned. Apart from that, for every course, there will be an university fees also. This is above uh, additional over and above the table. So if you are engineering uh, course, for engineering course, the university fees which goes to VTU, Vishwasura Technological University, 10,610. Architecture, it is 11,260. B-Pharma, it is 5,500. And Pharma, it is 4,700. And a special note is there on the bottom of the table which says in you know, a architecture course fees for 650 rupees is extra for only architecture students and 20,000 as other fees in the unaided or the private deem university is already included. So this is 20,000 you don't need to give additional it is already included in the main table. Similarly 10,000 is uh, additional fees which is included for the government and aided engineering college and you don't need to pay extra it is already included. So that's all a short update and your fees will reflect in front of your college right and depending on its type 1 or type 2 in the unaided it will show so there will be should be no question in mind that how much will be fees for your it will be reflecting in your allotment uh, you know screen right that's all thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar important updates take care